Okay, so the lighting's not doing me much justice today, but uh, I have another review <coughs> this time. It is bass or bass. I'm not sure which one, but it's uh, a pale ale. It's a 355 milliliter, and uh, apparently it's saying brewed in the great British tradition using the finest two row malted barley. And it's uh, Burton on Trent, England. So I'm guessing this is a uh, English beer and it's made by William Bass Brewers Limited, which was probably bought by Anheuser-Busch. I don't know yet, I haven't seen the import stamp. Hmm, okay, so yeah. Yeah, Anheuser-Busch. So, I'm guessing there's some type of association otherwise, but this is the second ale I've tried down here. Uh, this time in English, last time I believe it was uh, I don't even remember where the last ale was from. I think it was Boston or Chicago, something like that. I'm gonna give this a taste. I gotta say this tastes far more like beer than ale. Um, I know it's a stupid thing to say, but the last one was uh, very distinct. This one you can sort of get it in the aftertaste a bit. which opens up, so it, it's a sort of a strong, almost Molson Canadian wheat uh, beer, like, tastes quite a bit like Molson Canadian, actually. But it's a little bit lighter. So I guess they call it a pale ale because it's uh, pale instead of murky. I'm not sure if I have anything here that I can pour this into. I have a coconut shell, Mexican style, so. Let pour a little bit here. Yeah, so it is a uh, pretty ambery. And, you know, it's, I, I think it's actually a pretty good beer. I'd say this is like probably an 8 to 8.5. Um, I could probably drink a few of these. It's more of a rustic uh, flavor to it. Um, So it's actually uh, Maricam, New Hampshire, I think. So maybe it is an American beer after all. Yeah, product of the US. I, I need to misquote myself. So they say it originates in England, but uh, it's actually an American beer. Um, tastes a lot like Molson Canadian. I think it does anyway. And I think that I could probably drink around five of these before I felt like foaming at the mouth. Um, it's not really strong, I'm guessing this is a 5%. 5.1%. Um, so yeah, it's a, a easy drink, has a working flavor. Um, it's not the ex it's just blended pretty well. It's nothing really exceptional. It's sort of uh, the flavor of the first beers I ever drank. And yeah, it's uh, it's all right. I'd say this is uh, eight eight point five easy. Um, it's nothing exceptional. Uh, nothing that's really uh, different for me, which is why it uh, doesn't. Uh, cross any boundaries, but uh, I actually enjoyed the uh, Brune, le Left Brune far more than this, and I gave the Left Brune uh, 8.5 or 8.7, but um, that's the only reason I'm really probably going to give this an 8 instead of an 8.5, because I feel that the Left Brune was, uh, I, I enjoyed it much more than this, um, but this is a very easy uh, pale ale. Um, to drink. It's not uh, unique though for me. It's a very uh, regular beer. So I definitely take the laugh over this, but uh, it's not half bad.